We're having a Thanksgiving feast with style today. And Absolutely. who better to get us in our party mood than our next guest? And you all know him, Neil Fuentes, the sensational singing chef. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we started out actually with the filet mignon. With the filet mignon, and and here is. Let's remind everybody what you did before Basically, this. Basically, very simple. You grab your piece of uh, tenderloin and you put a little garlic around, a little salt, a little pepper. And then you're going to sear it in here. You're going to put it in a, in, a, in a sheet, like a cookie sheet, and you put it in the oven for how at 450 long? degrees for, for about 20 minutes to a medium rare to rare um, steak. Right. And then the most important part is there's <laughs> going to be a lot of little things yes. left of this here. Yes. So it's going to be really hot. You add a little bit of red wine to red that. Red wine. A little garlic. Okay. Right, a little butter, a little salt, a little pepper, and you create a sauce. Okay, I want to remind everybody we're going to have the recipe on our website, so don't we worry will. about it. Yes, okay. exactly. So let's just slice this baby. So, Thanksgiving. Last year we did turkey, so this year I said, well, why don't we do something different? Look at this. this and you is like it rare. Well, this is actually, look at this. Oh, it looks like perfect, it. medium it is perfect. rare. Medium rare. Oh my God, this is just so good. <laughs> it's going to be so tender. My <laughs> mouth is already watering. <laughs> So we did yeah. a I did a great little dinner feast for you guys today. Yes, you did. And we, I'm going to show you right now. Let me just cut this Wait till quick. we move over to the table, and you'll see what Neil has brought us. And he's going to explain exactly what he did right, for you. everything. There you go. There we go. Thank you very much. You're Let's welcome. This way. We're going to have a lot of sauce on the counter. All but right, we're that's gonna okay. Move. We're going to move and put okay. that baby in there. And Isn't let's move pretty? to the table. That looks All perfect. All right. Let's All go. All right. So here, let's put this baby in the middle. Right in the middle. And why don't we start from left to right? Okay. All right. Step on over here. The green beans. The green beans. The I'm green always beans. looking to do something different with my green beans during right. Thanksgiving. Okay. Well, this is a very simple thing to do. You, what you're going to do is you're going to blanch them for about five minutes. Blanch them. Okay. Okay. And a little hot water. And then in a pan, you're going to put olive oil, a little garlic right in there, and a little bacon. And once the bacon is really crispy, you add your string beans. You add the string beans. String beans, string beans into right the in there. Pan. Okay. Into the pan. Toss together. A little salt, a little pepper. Mm hmm and then almonds. Do you have to do anything to the almonds before you well, put it in? Well, if you want to, but I like to toast them a little bit for about two minutes or so. Before you add That's it. That's it, and then you put them in there, and then you finish them with cranberry and a little balsamic Very vinegar. Very festive. Balsamic vinegar, oh, okay. it's so amazing. <laughs> we move to this. Everybody right. will think that it's mashed potatoes. It's, it's not? not. It's yuca. Yuca, yuca is this root, right? It's about it's long and brown with a very thick skin. And you can find it anywhere? Any grocery store. And now it's even better because now they sell them frozen, already peeled, so it's fabulous. <laughs> I did a whole job yesterday by peeling the damn thing, but it was fun. <laughs> okay, but, anyway, you, but you can get it frozen. You can get it frozen. Okay, that's And you easy. can eat them fried, you can eat them grilled. So what I did was I boiled them okay. and I mashed them with a little cream, butter, and Parmesan cheese. And it's the creamiest and most divine thing you could possibly try. I can't try. wait. So that was all you did to this? That's all I did. And then you added, of course, the garnish. And the garnish. It's just garnish. Okay. Now, this one, sweet potatoes. What is a lot of surprises in that <laughs> sweet potatoes. There is. You start the dish by putting, once again, bacon in a pan. Bacon? Bacon. Okay. Once the bacon is crispy, you take it out and leave the fat right there. In that fat, you're going to cook onions until they're nice and caramelized. And then you're going to put plantains until they're nice and caramelized. And then you put back the sweet potatoes in there, and you mash them all together, put them in the oven, put a little bit of, you know, this stuff. Do you have to have the marshmallows? Can we? Uh, you don't need to have the marshmallows. I just had I wanted to cut back on the calories. I can um, omit. Honey, it's the, the holidays. No cutting back on okay, it. Okay, never just mind. Just one day a year. Come on, just go, go okay. with the butter. Go okay. with the butter. Go with the butter. <laughs> And, now, and so how long did we put this in the oven? Well, I put it. I just put it in the oven in here in the studio. Okay. So it was only in the oven for about 30 minutes. Uh, with the marshmallows with already With the marshmallows. On. And they okay. came nice and this beautiful brown and melted. So this that's it. This is going to be amazing. Okay. In here, a little bit of a Latin twist. One Puerto Rican dish that it should be in any Latino, um, you know, home. It is uh, arroz con gandules, rice and beans. Yum, okay. It's rice and beans. And then, of course, our filet mignon. So this is just an amazing festive dinner that you're just going to love and easy to make. We forgot one we more forgot thing about here. this, of course. These are, this is actually very, this I made up yesterday in my <laughs> mind. I said, what the hell am I going to do with parnips and carrots? Okay. What I did was I grabbed three oranges and I squeezed them in a pan. Okay. And I put brown sugar, cloves, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And then I cut the parsnips, the parsnips, parsnips. and the uh, carrots, mm -hmm. and I put them right in there. At first, at first, I thought you had sweet potatoes. No, in there. these are carrots. A carrots, okay. Mm. And then you just put it all together. Mm -hmm. and that was it. And then let it reduce until the the juice is completely gone. Put them in a pan, you know, in a sheet for baking, and put them in the oven until they're nice and crispy. Okay. And that's it. All right. Well, you, my 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 big dilemma on Thanksgiving is getting all the food 
on the table, nice and warm. Correct. So how do you get everything organized to well, have that done? What I do personally, I make it even easier for me. Because every one of these dishes I make in the day before, you put it in the refrigerator and you put everything in the oven at 250 degrees, probably about half an hour, 45 minutes before you serve everything, and everything is going to be perfectly perfectly warm for you. Great. And I'm going to do that. Yes, Thanks. absolutely. No. Make your life easy, honey. Make it all the day before, and then the next day you have to just warm up we'll, and serve. That's we'll it. We'll do it. All right. If you want Neil's recipes, just come to our website. We're going to plate this up and have a feast at the end of the show. Absolutely. So you're going to stick around with us. Of course. All right. But coming up next is all about artificial trees with Kew Gardens Patio and Garden Center when Connecticut Style returns. <laughs>